object. In this particular case, I've got the headline as one text block. I've got these two separate quote marks. And if for some reason I wanted to see how it would look somewhere else on the page, I would have to move them individually and then realign everything. Or what I could do is I could group them. So to group them, I click on an object. I hold the shift button down. I click on a second object. Then I come back in and I click on my third object. And now that they're all selected at the same time, I go up to object and I click on group. Now when I want to come back in and do something, I move it and everything moves at one time and I don't have to worry about grabbing them separately, which is kind of just a waste of time. While something is grouped, if I wanted to say add a drop shadow to it, I go up to Object, Effects, Drop Shadow, adjust how I wanted this to look, and it's going to make it for everything in that group. Neat. But maybe in this particular case, I didn't want to add the drop shadow to the text. I only wanted to add it to these two objects. You could click on it, go up to Object and click on Ungroup and then go ahead and deselect everything and just do them one at a time. Or you could go get the white arrow tool. Click on just this quote mark, or click off to the page so nothing's highlighted. Click on the one quote mark, hold the shift button down, click on the second quote mark, and I didn't get the third one. And again, this is only accessing it because I'm using the white arrow, not the black one. And now if I went to Object, Effects, and hit Drop Shadow, it would only do it for those two objects. So I can still select individual things within a group, Rather than taking the time to ungroup them, I just have to remember to be using the white arrow and not the black arrow to do that.